I'm giving you guys a crash course in uh, how to get a job on a boat from the dock in Crescent City. This is how it goes, brother. Remember that old saying, takes money to make money? Well, it's going to cost you about $92 to get you a job on the boat in Crescent City. And I'm not talking about your fishing license. What I'm talking about is a pair of extra tufts. Don't fuck around and get the insulated ones, bro. They're not that much more expensive. I'm just saying. But what you do is you go down there to some motherfucking England Marine. And however you gotta fucking wing it, whoever you gotta kiss ass and mow their lawn, whatever the fuck you gotta do, you get you a pair of extra tufts. Before you even go and talk to one motherfucker on the dock, you go and bang nails until you can afford a pair of extra tufts. Because nobody's gonna give you a job standing there in your fucking gardening boots looking like a dork. Second tip, as soon as they say, are you seasick? I don't give a fuck if you're seasick or not. You straight face as fuck, you say, nope. And even if they tell you no, this is the third tip, by the way. And even when they tell you no, which they will, you give them your phone number. And you say, as soon as one of your deckhands doesn't show up you call me and i'll be here with my boots <clears throat> fourth and final piece of advice when you approach whoever you decide to approach don't say are you looking for a block man because there isn't a motherfucking captain out there that wants to believe that you think you know how to fucking run his block and when you jump up there with that attitude, he's going to shoot you straight down. You say, do you need a deckhand? And that means anything. That means stacking gear. That means stuffing squid. That means standing around with your dick in your hand. That means being on call. That means whatever the fuck. A deckhand means whatever the fuck needs to be done. You fucking handle it. Okay? So to go, don't, don't, don't go down there in your gardening boots. <clears throat> Don't say, you need a block, man. And last of all, don't get discouraged when they tell you no. That's their way of seeing if you're crazy enough to really fucking show up or not. Because most people aren't. And most people definitely aren't fucking stupid enough to show up on the fucking, the second time they went fishing when they find out what it's all about. Unless they're out of their mind and they're probably made for the fucking job. And that's something you gotta work out with yourself. Ain't nobody else could do it for you. <sighs> Final piece of information. If you know goddamn well you get seasick and you're fucking lying to them about to get on the boat, do yourself a favor and get some drama. I mean, but don't wait till you get on the boat and start going, oh, I'm seasick to take a fucking drama bead. Because it's going to make you puke on the spot. Those things are fucking gross. And if you read the label, sirs, reading is great for you. If you read the label, it'll say, take a half hour before you go. And if you take it a half hour before you go, it'll fucking work, bro. Like magic. Like when you take an aspirin and your headache goes away. But listen, you got to read the instructions and you can't be trying to take it in the middle of puking. And if you puke anyways, eat. Every time you puke, eat, 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 eat. eat. Every break you get, eat. Every chance you get, eat. <clears throat> End of lecture on how to get on a boat. I hope you figured it out.